1.66 seconds to 60 miles per hour versus 1.9, 308 miles per hour versus 267, 3,000 horsepower versus 2,100, two electric hypercars, two philosophies, one Croatian masterpiece limited to 40 units, one Chinese rocket limited to 30. Both just rewrote what's physically possible with electric motors and carbon fiber. But here's the question nobody saw coming. Did China just beat Croatia at their own game? This is about to get nuclear. Let's be absolutely clear about what we're dealing with here because both of these machines are so far beyond normal that calling them cars almost feels insulting. The BYD U9 Xtreme. China's first legitimate electric hypercar, limited to 30 units. This thing just hit 308 miles per hour, ran a 6 minutes 59 seconds at the Nürburgring, and packs 3,000 horsepower from four electric motors running on a 1,200-volt silicon carbide architecture. Price? Around $500,000, though exact figures are murky. The Remak Nevera R. This is Mate Remak's answer to everyone who said the standard Nevera was already perfect. Four electric motors, 2,107 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 1.66 seconds, limited to 40 units worldwide. Price? $2.4 million. That's a 5 to 1 price difference. The Nevera R costs as much as 5 U9 Xtremes. So the question isn't, which is faster? The question is, is the Nevera R 5 times better? Let's find out. Let's talk about acceleration. 0 to 60 the metric that makes or breaks bragging rights at hypercar gatherings. The BYD U9, Xtreme, 1.9 seconds, 1.9 seconds to 60 miles per hour. The Remac Nevera R, 1.66 seconds, 1.66 seconds. That's 0.24 seconds faster, which at this level is an eternity. Quarter mile times? The U9 Xtreme runs low eight second quarters, Hypercar territory. Demolish any supercar territory. The Nevera R, 7.9 seconds at 167 miles per hour. That's not a car, that's a teleportation device. Zero to 186 miles per hour. That's 300 kilometers per hour. The benchmark for true hypercar performance. The Nevera R does it in 7.89 seconds less than eight seconds from standstill to 186 miles per hour. The U9 Extreme, we don't have official numbers yet, but based on power to weight, it's probably in the nine to 10 second range. In acceleration, the Nevera R wins, decisively. That 108 kilowatt hour battery pack with new chemistry, that obsessive weight reduction and that torque vectoring system tuned by actual racing drivers, now let's talk about top speed, because this is where the tables turn dramatically. The Remak Nevera R, 267 miles per hour. That's 430 kilometers per hour. Manufacturer controlled and electronically limited. That's faster than a Koenigsegg Agera RS, faster than a Bugatti Veyron. But the BYD U9 Xtreme, 308.4 miles per hour verified at ATP Papenburg in Germany. At 308 miles per hour, you're covering 452 feet every second. That's one and a half football fields per second. The U9 Xtreme just became one of the five fastest production cars ever built from a company that was making phone batteries 15 years ago. Now, to be fair, we don't know if Remak electronically limited the Nevera R for safety or tire constraints. Maybe it could go faster, but BYD actually did it. They proved it. They have the data. In top speed, the U9 Xtreme obliterates the Nevera R, and that matters even if you'll never use it. Let's talk about raw power. The Remak Nevera R, 2,107 horses. 
power that requires four motors, advanced cooling systems, and software that constantly fights to keep the car from killing you. The BYD U9, Xtreme, 3,000 horsepower. That's 870 horsepower more than the Nevera R. That's like having an entire Porsche 911 GT3's worth of extra power. Each of the U9 Xtreme's four motors produces 555 kilowatts. That's 744 horsepower per motor. But here's the critical question. Does more power automatically mean better performance? In acceleration? Number. The Nevera R is faster to 60 miles per hour despite having less power. Why? Weight, efficiency, software, traction management. The Nevera R is lighter. It weighs 2,150 kilograms. The U9 Xtreme weighs 2,480 kilograms. That's 330 kilograms of extra mass. In top speed? Yes, absolutely. Because once you're past 200 miles per hour, weight matters less and power matters more. You're fighting aerodynamic drag, which increases exponentially. The U9 Xtreme's extra 870 horsepower lets it punch through air resistance that the Nevera R simply can't overcome. Let's dive into what makes these cars actually work, because this is where it gets fascinating. The Remak Nevera R runs a 108 kilowatt hour battery pack with new chemistry and layout compared to the standard Nevera. Four electric motors with individual torque vectoring. Each wheel is independently controlled. The car can shift power front to back, left to right, in milliseconds. The system is so advanced, it can do the 0 to 400 to 0 challenge in 25.79 seconds. That's accelerating from standstill to 248 miles per hour and breaking back to zero in less than 26 seconds. That's insane. The BYD U9. Xtreme counters with its 1,200 volt electrical architecture. Higher voltage than the Nevera R system means better efficiency, faster charging, reduced heat generation, and more power delivery. The U9 Xtreme also has the Dysus X electromagnetic suspension. This system can independently control each wheel with millimeter precision in milliseconds. It gives the U9 capabilities the Nevera R simply doesn't have. Tank turns, three-wheel driving, active body control that can react faster than any traditional suspension. Let's talk about weight, the eternal enemy of performance. The Remak Nevera R. 2,150 kilograms. That's 4,740 pounds. Still heavy by sports car standards, but remarkably light for an electric hypercar with a 108 kilowatt hour battery pack and four motors. Remac used carbon fiber everywhere. Titanium fasteners, exotic materials. They shaved weight obsessively. Every gram counted. Every component was optimized. The BYD U9 Xtreme. 2,480 kilograms, that's 5,467 pounds, about 727 pounds heavier than the Nevera R. In pure performance terms, that's a huge disadvantage. Let's address the elephant in the room, value. The Nevera R costs five times more, but it's not five times faster. It's not five times better. It's faster in acceleration. That's it. The U9 Xtreme wins in top speed, power, track time, and rarity. So where does that extra $2 million go? Brand, heritage, prestige, the Remak name, the Croatian engineering story, the motorsport validation, the refinement, the European mystique. Is that worth $2 million? To some collectors? Absolutely yes. To someone who wants the name and doesn't care about the price? Yes. But on pure performance per dollar, the U9 Xtreme is the greatest bargain in hypercar history. And I'm using bargain for a $500,000 car, which tells you how insane this segment is. So which car wins? In acceleration? The Nevera R 1.66 seconds is faster than 1.9. In top speed? The U9 Xtreme, 308 miles per hour versus 267 miles per hour. On track, the U9 Xtreme 659 at the Nürburgring is proven performance. 
Until Remak publishes a faster time, BYD holds the crown. In power, the U9 Extreme. 3,000 horsepower versus 2,107 horsepower. No contest. In refinement, the Nevera R Remake's attention to detail is legendary. In prestige, the Nevera R. The badge matters. In value, the U9 Extreme. Five times cheaper for arguably better performance. But here's my controversial take. The BYD U9 Extreme is the more impressive achievement. Not because it's better in every way, it's not. The Nevera R is faster where it counts most, acceleration. But the U9 Extreme represents something bigger. BYD went from batteries to building a hypercar that can compete with and beat the best in the world. In one generation, in a fraction of the time, for a fraction of the cost. That's not just impressive, that's terrifying if you're an established hypercar manufacturer. The Nevera R is the culmination of Remox journey. The U9 Extreme is the beginning of BYDs. And that should make everyone in the automotive world very, very nervous. So what do you think? Is the Nevera R worth five times the price? Or did BYD just embarrass the establishment? Drop a comment, start a fight, and if you want more Hypercars content that'll melt your brain, subscribe, because this is just the beginning of the electric Hypercar War.